Hello dear learners, welcome in this second part of precipitation titration. Today we will see the one of the precipitation titration method, it is a Fajan's method. So let us see in detail. So what is Fajan's method? In Fajan's method, okay, it is a type of precipitation titration. Here the silver ion is titrated with the halide or thiocyanate ions in the presence of adsorption indicator and this is known as Fajan's method. Here this is very important. Here we are using the adsorption indicator. Now what is adsorption indicator? Here the reaction of indicator is occur at the surface of the precipitate. So this is known as adsorption indicator and this kind of indicator are used in Fajan's method. Since the adsorption of indicators takes place at end point, okay, so at the end there is a adsorption of indicator at the precipitate. It is also called indicator adsorption method. So second name of the method is indicator adsorption method. So which type of indicator we can use over here? It is a dye. It is exist in a solution as in ionized form. Okay, you can use as an anion. This method you can say it is generally used for qualitative analysis of halides or thiocyanate ion. As we are titrating our silver with the halides, we can say chloride or thiocyanate ion. Say for example, here the titration of chloride with AgNO3. Okay, we have to titrate. So, there will be a, so in a conical flask, we have to take the chloride ion, okay. So, we have to titrate it with AgNO3, which is filled into the burette and we will add the indicator, it is a fluorosin. Here, the indicator used is fluorosin, adsorption indicator. Now, see, so what happened, actually, what happened here? So, this is a process of precipitate formation. So here what happened? So when a chloride ion, okay, when a chloride ion is titrated with AgNO3, so the precipitated silver chloride, this silver chloride will get precipitated. So it will absorb this chlorine ion. And this is known as, we can say, the self-adsorption. Means what? The silver chloride can absorb the chloride itself. So because it have a tendency to absorb. So this is we can say a primary adsorb layer. This is a primary absorb layer. Now after that by opposite charged ion there will be a formation of second layer. Okay, There will be a formation of second layer. So right now okay, this all is reacted but Ag is there in excess. So now on this precipitate okay, surrounding this precipitate Ag will get adsorbed. Here silver will get adsorbed. After that we can say what happened. So again a negatively charged NO3- minus will come. Okay. Now here there is a question mark. So what is the question? So here there is two possibilities. Either NO3 will come or the ion of fluorosin will come. So, if the fluorosin is also present in the solution, okay, the fluorosin will come over here in place of NO3- minus because it can absorb strongly over here. So, it will get immediately absorbed and it will reveal its presence okay, on the precipitate. So, there will be a formation of a pink color. Here there will be a formation of pink color on the surface of precipitate by adding fluorosin. That is why this is known as the adsorption indicator or we can say the indicator adsorption method. Now see what is the end point. So here what happened during adsorption of fluorosin ion the rearrangement of structure Okay, the rearrangement of structure of ion occurs with the formation of colored substance. 
that is a pink color so the color change takes place at the surface of precipitate this is the end point now which kind of precaution we have to take so here this is a very important thing we should take care about when we are performing the titration by the fajans method the fluorescein can be used only in the ph range of 7 to 10 okay because if we are using below the ph 7 then there will be no color change okay because of the acid constant of the fluorescein okay so it is preferable that indicator can be opposite okay indicator ion be opposite in the charge to the ion added as a titrant so adsorption of indicator will then not occur until excess titrant is present is the second precaution so this precautions we should take care when we are performing the method thank you dear learners in the next video we will see the volhards as well as mohars method